Do you know how powerful one light can be when everything seems dark? I moved to Kentucky some months ago and there was so much to do all at once and all by myself. I was really struggling to keep up. One day I noticed a yard sale at this parish and thought maybe I could find something to furnish my empty apartment. And I found a dinner table with four chairs. The seller was using it to hold up some other items, so I told her I'd come back later to pick it up. Well, when I arrived, cleanup was underway. Hardly anyone was there. And at the space in the gym where the lady was, only the table and chairs were left. So I thought, all right, I'm gonna have to find a way to get this through the gym doors. I'm gonna have to find a way to hoist it into my car. Then I size it up and realize it's bigger than I thought, and there's no way it's gonna fit. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I mean, Come on, I've handled a lot alone, and this is just another task. So even as the prayer of, please God, I don't wanna do this alone came to my lips, I swallowed that prayer. I swallowed that holy moment with, I'm gonna have to. Right as this happened though, a woman came in and saw me standing there, thinking everything through, and she left what she was doing and came to meet me. She said, all right, sweetie, you know, let's take care of this. I got this side and let's just get it through these doors. All right, go pull a car up while I get the chairs and we'll get this all figured out. And then when I didn't fit my car, she found this couple who helped me take the legs off, worked in the chairs and everything fit perfectly. And then she offered to follow me to my apartment to help me get everything up the stairs. Though, you know, I told her I'd be able to manage it. And I thanked her, got back in my car and just had to sit there for a minute. I know that to her, that must have been the smallest thing. Loading a table into a car. 10 minutes was all that holy moment took. But to me, just when I was feeling overwhelmed, alone, in need of community, of some kindness to make me feel seen, that holy moment was like a light in the darkness. And it was bright enough to shift the momentum in my life. Soon after that day, I registered as a parishioner at the parish where the yard sale was held. And now I'm a CCD teacher. I'm on the bereavement committee and I've joined their Bible study and go to their RCIA meetings. That woman's holy moment has expanded so far beyond what it originally was. And it started as two women moving the table. And now I feel like I found a home. God heard the need of a world steeped in darkness. And tomorrow the son of God will come to bring light to a world that is desperately in need of it. And he will answer every prayer, those we consciously pray for, and even those we don't. We're all in need of saving. And behold, tomorrow, he will raise up a mighty savior for us to give light to those who sit in darkness. Have a beautiful Christmas. God bless you. Want to bring the light of hope to millions of souls who sit in darkness? Click here to join the Dynamic Catholic Ambassadors Club and you'll receive today's featured book for free.